Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have a quad semi showcase for you guys. As usual we're going to take a look at these. I'm going to go over the shop and check out some of the specs and then I'm going to take them out on the road and test them for you guys. So we'll start over here on the left with the Kenworth. This is the Kenworth K100 Cab Ober version 2. The file size is 29.2 megabytes. The power is 324 kilowatts and 440 horsepower. The price in the shop is 80,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. Max speed is 97 kilometers an hour. So let's take a little look at this. Pretty boxy looking, different looking semi. It's very nice nonetheless. Kenworth written on the stacks there and all in chrome looking pretty good. We've got a triaxle back here. Very nice, very nice. Let's jump on inside. Yeah, not too bad at all. Let's test the lights first, guys. With the lower parking lamps on, we have our regular lights and our high beams. Test out our beacons. Work just fine. Actually, they got a nice reflection off whatever you drive by. You can see it flashing in it. How's the horn working? Just fine. Signal lights, good to go. And our hazards work just fine. Okay, now if you press keypad A, check this out. Whoa! You get a flippy cab. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that'd be a little awkward driving like that, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it'd be an uncomfortable sitting there too. You can see the engine in there looking pretty good. Not too bad at all. Okay, let's flip that back down with keypad 8. Now, let's jump inside the cab momentarily. Not a bad looking dashboard. We got working uh, gauges on the dashboard. Now, besides the dashboard, the inside doesn't look all that great, guys. Got a nice skylight up there. Dashboard looks good, but back here, yeah, it's kind of bland looking. It's not the best. And if we press keypad 7 and 9, we can open the doors. There's the left one and the right. And keypad 4 and 5 will open your windows. Like so. We have functioning mirrors, which are really nice. Let's jump back out for a second. We'll check out the triaxle, which you can lower and raise with the V button. See it going down there and then back up. Now with the X button you can add weights to this. Now you'll notice the whole cab in the front lower here when I press X. Check that out. Now over on the left top right or top left hand corner you can see by X it says add weight. As I press X you can see one gets heavier, two, three, four, five, and then back. So that's pretty cool. So, I do believe that's about it for him until we test him out. Jump out and head over to the next one. We have another Kenworth here. This is kind of an IT runner. You can't hook a, a, a regular tipper to the back of this. you got to have the uh, IT runner DLC unless you can get these attachments in a modded version. If you get these modded, you're, all, you're fine. But... It, Ideally, you would want the uh, IT Runner DLC, I'd imagine. We have another triaxle here. So, this is the Kenworth 900B Multi Lift version 1.1. The file size is 46.8 megabytes. The power is 515 kilowatts with 700 horsepower. Pretty powerful. The price in the shop is 200,000 with a daily maintenance fee of 150. The max speed is 98 kilometers an hour. So, not too bad looking at all. Let's jump on inside. Now, if you press the X button, let me zoom in here a little bit. You can get that your retracting arm to come out. X brings it back. Your Z button will toggle your oversize. What would you call them? just like stickers or whatever and there's some flags on the side as well it's kind of cool um, let's see here J button will put fenders on the back like so forgot to start my time there that's okay 
and the V button will lower and raise your triaxle except the triaxle is in the very back of this one now there is one downfall with this guys to me it's not groundbreaking or it's not game breaking uh, I can live with it myself but others might not like it you can change the tires but watch what happens when I change the tires now what button changes the tires again uh, Y now it'll watch it goes right up in the air and it'll stay like that too you can actually drive around like that which isn't cool but I mean if you don't switch your, switch your tires it's fine and I tested this and it works great so that's the only downfall you have more than one set or two sets of tires to choose from there's another one there but when you reset to the first one again it'll drop back to the ground so just keep that in mind some people won't like that some people it won't bother like myself cool little reflection in the tank there too so like I said it's not ground it's not game breaking so I mean it depends on the person hopefully the modder will see that see this video and maybe fix that up so let's jump on inside very nice looking interior see I hate to put it down because of that one little flaw working mirrors too very nice looking cab indeed yeah and like I said that's it to me that's not game breaking so okay I don't know if we checked I don't think we tested the lights on this yet did we there's our lights there's our high beams beacons work really cool they actually reflect off things as well you can see it on the next truck over reflecting it's got a big old loud horn on it oh no this isn't the one I was thinking of actually yeah the signal lights work great hazards good to go okay so let's jump on in oh no we already looked inside okay I want to uh, show you if you're not familiar with the IT runner let's press our X button to get our lift back sorry guys this is the third time I recorded this and some things I went over and I just forgot it I already I already did it okay now you press the Q button you can couple on to that and with the X button you can retract it so it looks really good with the black with the black tipper there or the black bucket whatever you want to call it looks really nice indeed and I'm pretty sure the gauges work on this yes they do nice little Alpine stereo there as well okay so that's about it for this guy until we test them out let's jump out of here and we'll move on to the next one we have yet another Kenworth this is the Kenworth T800 RT version 1.0 the file size is 36.4 megabytes the power is 552 kilowatts with a whopping 750 horsepower price in the shop is 95,000 with a free maintenance fee daily maintenance fee is nothing and a max speed of 105 kilometers an hour so let's take a little look around with it at it nice looking top mission tires on it some nice rims decent looking truck indeed very beefy looking yeah I like that so let's jump on inside we have a few functions there in the top left hand corner keypad 5 will activate your front lights now there's a little lag with this guys I don't know if that's the mod itself or it's my computer because I don't have the best computer in the world so it may be just my computer but if it is the mod perhaps he can fix that up because it is a beautiful looking machine I'll tell you that very very sharp looking keypad 5 will turn your lights off again keypad 8 what was that now I kind of forget oh that's for your beacons yeah it's keypad 8 to acti activate your beacons not your other button that you normally press and we have like blue flashers on it look pretty cool so yeah I get a little bit of lag with this I don't know if you guys would get that or not but and keypad 8 will turn them off once again our lights yes I already tested them let's check out our signal lights very good hazards good to go and this one got the big old loud horn on it listen <laughs> really cool okay let's look inside nice looking dashboard there unfortunately the uh, none of the gauges work on that but that's okay nice looking interior nice little cab back there as well got a bit of a skylight in this 
Very nice. So that'll about do it for this one until we test it out. Let's jump on out and move over to the next one. Now this next one is a Volvo. This is kind of a mod pack. It comes with a few different things. We First of all, we have two variations of the semi itself. We have our regular one here and we have this one that has a tipper attached to it already. Now one weird thing with this guys, there's nothing wrong with it, but the uh, it has the exact same horsepower and uh, kilowatts, but one's faster than the other for some reason. This one here goes 75 kilometers an hour, or 73 I should say, while this one goes 99 for some reason. I don't know why, but of course he does have an extra axle on the back. Maybe that might have something to do with it. This is the Volvo FH 16 pack multicolor. You can change the color. This is the default color here. The file size is 102 megabytes. The power is 552 kilowatts and another whopping 750 horsepower. The price in the shop is 150,000 with a $95 a day maintenance fee. The max speed is like I said, 173, 199. And it comes with a few little extras. So I'm going to get airborne here so we can get a kind of an aerial view with these. So we have two tipper wagons. I call these ones wagons. And then you have your regular tipper and you have a seed and fertilizer auger slash tipper. That's really cool. I like that meridian. Really, really nice. So we'll go over these quickly before we jump inside there. The regular tipper with the red top there hold 65,000 liters as opposed to the 59,000 that the biggest cramp tipper will hold. The price in the shop is 25,000 with a $64 a day maintenance fee. Over to the wagons, we'll start with the smaller one. The smaller wagon, the price in the shop is 25,000. It holds 40,000 liters and has an $8 a day maintenance fee. The bigger one, the price in the shop is 45,000. It has a capacity of 50,000 liters with an $8 a day maintenance fee. The auger slash tipper here is 13,500 in the shop, very, very cheap. The capacity is 40,000 liters and it has a $250 a day maintenance fee. So I'm gonna drop back down here and we're gonna jump inside and take a look. Now, as you can see, we have no extra functions up in the top left-hand corner, but that's okay. We'll test out the lights and stuff, F key. Get some reverse lights. There's some extra bright ones on the top. Uh, no beacons on this, as you can see. Our signal lights work fine, as well as our hazards. Let's see how the horn works. You got your basic horn. Let's jump inside the cab. Nice looking cab. Not bad at all for a Volvo. This thing uh, handles quite differently too. I, I, don't, I noticed that the Volvo is stopping a dime when you let off the gas or the W button. Little cab back there, not bad looking. And uh, it really sticks to the road well. That's what I do like about it. So, let us go and test these out. So, I'm just going to jump. Actually, I wanted to show you one thing before we get started. And these are identical. Like I said, one's just a little bit faster than the other. So I want to test, show you one thing here. I want to test the cedar before we get started on the road test. I have an auger. The seed and fertilizer auger is over here filled up. So I just want to show you how this works. It seems that every time I start the game with this in it, the pipe's already out, but that's not, that's not bad. So if you press the X button, it will go back over, and then if you press it again, it will retract. This has a cover on it as well with the N button. I have it full of seed right now. The O button is how you unload it. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get him retracted. You hold in your mouse button you can move this side to side moves it up and down for some reason and up and down moves it side to side I don't know why they have that reverse but that's fine let's get him over and let's get him up now let's go over to our cedar 
Now, usually with these augers, as soon as you get over them, they'll automatically start filling up. But this one, it says pipe out, but it's not. You press O, and it'll start filling up. So that works just fine. Holds quite a bit. There we go. Press X button again. And that will retract and fold away. Very cool, eh? Really, really like this. Okay, guys. Let's go and test them out. Now, as you can see, I have all four set up here. We're going up the back hill of Bjornum to see if we can make it. Now, this guy here has the lowest amount of horsepower. At 440 horsepower, I only hook one tipper to him. As you can see, I have 59,000 liters of barley inside. This guy builds up speed a little slow, but he'll get there. Let's turn our beacons on, just for the cool factor. Now hopefully, we'll get up here without a problem. Slowing down a little bit, but not too bad. I knew not to hook two tippers. Usually if they're under 500 horsepower, I'll just go with the single tipper when I do this test because you need more than that to uh, to bring a double tipper up here for sure. Okay, I'm just going to pull him to the side now. I'm not going to bother dumping him out because we all seen the animation for that. Next. Okay. I really want to start with this one and go in the same order. Okay. Now let's boogie. This is 700 horsepower. Unfortunately, I can't hook any additional tippers to this, but he should make it up there no problem. Let's turn our beacons on. Hopefully, I forgot to turn the traffic on, so I hope no cars are coming. I don't want to have to stop or bang into anybody. Oh, wow, he's not building up a whole lot of speed just yet. He should make it with, with that much horsepower. My 750 horsepower? Yeah, a little tight turning. But we're not losing a whole lot of speed here. 45,000 liters. And we got up there without, a, without any problems. If we would have got a little bit better of a run at that, it would have did a little bit better. So, that works just fine. Nice and quiet, too. Okay. Going to jump out of you and go in this one. Now, hopefully, this one doesn't handle the best and I do myself get a little bit of lag with this but we're gonna test it out I'm gonna press keypad 8 to get my beacons on I think that was it anyway was it keypad 8? maybe I'm on the wrong thing here yes I am there we go okay let's go this guy kinda of builds up speed slow too but very nice looking truck I love that man the tires just look great the cab looks great so like I said, hopefully the modder will see this review and he'll be able to uh, fix them, fix that little bit of lag. But like I said, it could be my computer, so 70 kilometers. It can go up to 100, but we need a pretty good run at that to get up to 100. And this is a double tipper too, full. Oh, come on. You're not going to let me down, are you? Oh, we're so close, guys. Mm. See, if we would have got a little bit more speed, it would have been a bit better. We're going to make it, but I mean, it's just slowing down dramatically there at the top. But like I said, look, we got 118,000 liters of canola aboard. So, not bad. These tires look like they're kind of spinning there, aren't they? A little, a little slippery. It seems to handle all right. Not the best, but not too bad I've seen worse but it is a beautiful looking vehicle I have to say and listen to that horn all right so we made it back up the hill with him we have one more to go okay off to the Volvo this is 750 horsepower here so we got 99,000 liters of corn aboard. Let's see how we can handle going up here. Now hopefully he'll get a little bit more speed going before we hit 
No traffic. We don't have any beacons here. Now, 750 horsepower. He should boogie up here. You would think. And yeah, as you can tell, you can hook another tipper to this, but... No, there's no but. You can hook one to this. So, if you use the uh, wagons that come with this, that come with the uh, Volvo, you can basically get a train going. You can keep hooking them together and carry all kinds with you. So, we're going to detach from that. Wrong one. But that's okay. Can I not detach from you? Here we go. Just pressing the wrong button. And we'll check out the animation for this. And there you go. Oh, he's side tipping. I had potatoes in there when I tested it last time and he actually uh, tipped straight up in the air with the big pole in the front. But, hey, that's cool. And we have a cover on this, I do believe. Yes, we do. There's the cover there, guys. So there you have it. That is my quad semi showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hit the like button if you like this review. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe by all means. I'll be re uh, doing mod reviews for Farming Simulator 17 when it's released as well. So until next time, guys, take care.